Hey guys, it's the Solar Clock here, and today in some of this monster analysis video, we're going to be going over stock racks, and I'm going to be telling you guys whether or not he's worth your money to get out of the Golden Legends Pass. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so stock racks is going to be paid to win out of the Golden Legends Pass. We don't know his role yet, but we do have pretty much everything out, so let's just go ahead and get started with the trait. So his trait is going to be at Dodge Area Rank 0, which is amazing. He also has Freeze Immunity at Rank 1, which isn't that great, but then we go back to Great with Rank 3, which is Torture Immunity. So yeah, some pretty great traits. The only one that's kind of bad is rank 1. But besides that, both are really good. And now let's go on down to the pros and the cons. So he has a great trait, only weak to light due to being earth and dark. He has serviceable extra turn move and she changed me. And I can't stop myself can cause heavy DOT damage. So yeah, some pretty good pros. I'm not sure what this move does or this move. We can actually go and look at those right now. I can't stop myself allows AOE NER. And also gives two torture per effect removed, which is interesting. I do like that quite a bit. That is really interesting, actually. And then she changed me has a moderate dark damage with AoE of vulnerable, which is amazing. That is very, very good. I like that a lot. So yeah, both of those moves are actually pretty great. I like that quite a bit. And then the cons are torture immunity is just a status caster and there's no way to reapply it after it ends, which is interesting. I was kind of hoping she would have a move where it could go ahead and just apply torture immunity to itself, but it's fine, I guess. And then he has Anticipation Bay, which is kind of true, but you just wouldn't want to use that move if they have Anticipation on their team. And then the other one, NER, is the enemies, which is kind of annoying, actually. Yeah, it takes off negative effects from the enemies, but it does add more, which is kind of good. It, like, multiplies them. So yeah, that's really interesting. I do like it. And now let's go down and look at the moves we haven't already looked at. So it has a blind, it also has an AoE minor blind, it has the AoE NER that gives more tortures, it has a minor blind single target, it also has the AoE vulnerable with extra turn, which I love, it also has another AoE vulnerable, which is actually pretty great, and then it has massive earth damage and AoE low earth damage. So yeah, it's got some pretty good moves actually, it seems pretty good, but again, it does cost real money to actually get, and I do not think it's worth real money. But yeah, it seems like a pretty decent monster, I guess. If you're going to be getting the Legends Pass, it's good to have, I guess. But yeah, it's not a super amazing monster. So don't really bother buying the Legends Pass just for it. But if you are planning on buying the Legends Pass anyway, it is a nice bonus to have. But yeah, let me know down in the comments what you guys think of stock racks. And yeah, see you in the next one. Over to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.